Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back for another slime video. Part 2 of the Tempered Edge World Tour video for the Exalted Champions team. So we're going to go into the next four stages of Tempered Edge, being the Space, Earth, Dark, and Fire stages. Starting out in the Space stage, and we do have an AoE Space unit, so I'm going to flip the units around and make Guy our DPS here this time, so we'll do that and we'll just jump right in. Alright, so we've flipped around Guy, he's in the back now, he's got um, Blanc as the support, and we got another good hand right here. So the hero's gonna come in, steal these Rimuru orbs, we'll bring Guy in, and we'll get his AoE alt, and then we'll just attempt to EX alt on turn 3, and call it a day. So, let's see, 1, 2, 3, actually 1, 2... Three, four, five, six. It doesn't actually matter. They're all gonna die because they don't have a lot of HP. But we gotta, we gotta be fair to everybody. We have to hit everyone equally. Okay, that looks like a good hand to me. So, I mean, we could use guys. Oh, right. Hmm, we're gonna be missing the attack buff. I actually don't think it's gonna matter all that much. Uh, hmm. I did forget about that bind, though. That is unfortunate. Oh, well, I mean, Rimuru was coming out anyways, because he was the one with the orbs. So... So... Let's do the green buff. Then we'll put that on Dino, and it doesn't really matter. And we'll do the synergy buff. And the extra alt gauge. So then we'll use Velzard change all these to greens. We'll use this alt, and then maybe, hopefully, we just get an EX alt back. I don't know if that's how it's going to work, but let's find out. 70k right there, and then we're going to take down Dino by quite a bit, if not just straight up kill him with this 200%. He is dead. All right. Awesome. And okay, we don't quite get the EX alt. If we had one more guy orb, we would have been fine. But I mean, we can just do it again, right? The same thing. Boom. I guess we can put another stack of the Synergy Resistance down, because we have the points for it. Use Velzard again, and we'll just back-to-back -back normal ult them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we're out of here. Well, okay, almost not. Never mind. Milim's dead. And then we're alternating these orbs. Veldora got the kill! Look at you, Veldora. Putting in the work. Alright, well, it still only took three turns. That was very, very difficult. Let's move on. Alright, we've finally moved into the realm of set starting hands. So we don't need, or well, we also can't, do the turn one steal with the hero. But this is a green focus team, and we can use Veldora to convert these. And the enemies are space, so we're going to try our best to make Veldora do a lot of AoE damage. As hilarious as that sounds. So we'll take him out, and then we'll try and steal into six orbs for him next turn. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna do this and attempt to just lower their HP down a bit. Yeah, they don't have a lot of health. I think we can do this. With the synergy and the attack buff and the element buff, we can make Veldora do okay AoE damage. Oh. Well, that's something, isn't it? Oh, the orange are nerfed. What are we gonna do? Well, that kind of hurt. That actually did kind of hurt. Alright, well, Rimuru, you're coming out of here for the hero. Uh, boom. We'll steal these orbs. And then we can use the green buff from Veldora. Uh, Milim is going to take a lot of damage here. She might actually die, depending on the follow-up attacks from Leon and how they're going to work out. Unless we kind of do something fun here. Let's, uh, let's see, magic buff, let's synergy buff as well, and that's really all we can do. I mean, we could use the synergy resistance down skill from Guy, but it wouldn't hit Veldora at all, which isn't really going to matter, because he's going to have the equivalent of a normal EX alt. But I mean, I guess we can. Let's just do it anyways. It'll help us do a bit more damage here. And how much does he actually put out? Oh, that's actually decent damage for him. Hold on. He does have the element buff, he does, does have synergy, not quite able to kill Leon, 
Millum. 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 Millum lives. All right, we're good. We are golden, so you can get out of here. And we'll do the synergy buff again. We'll do... Nope, I brought in the wrong one. Where's Rimuru? There we go. We'll do the synergy buff again and the attack buff and the element buff. And congratulations, Veldora. You have become an AoE nuker for a meta team. I'm so proud of you. How much damage does your normal orb do against Velzard? I kind of want to see that first. 35k? 105k against them? And then 89k from Guy to back it up. All right. That worked pretty well. I mean, this stage is actually kind of difficult if you're not built for it, whether or not you're defensively focused or you just ridiculous burst damage. And we fall into the latter category. So let's move on to uh, the final stage. No, no, we have the dark team after this. Hold on. We got two more. All right, so we've switched back. We've made Milam the back line unit again for DPS character because obviously we don't need Guy up here. Set starting hand is still working out in our favor, which makes Veldora so very versatile on his own team, or at least when surrounded by other exalted champion units. And I think we just run it like this. We don't have any dark characters, but I mean, that's fine. We don't really need them. And we're going to just try and steal into a full hand of Milam Orbs next turn, and then we can go turn three and full nuke, or maybe we have to go to turn four. Uh... Yeah, okay, we're fine. We are fine. Those oranges being nerfed means absolutely nothing. So Rimuru is coming out for the hero. And we shall steal those. Actually, no, we can do it turn um, turn three, because we're going to use Guy here. So boom. And then the ult rush, the gauge increase. And yeah, now we're looking pretty good. Full hand of buffed greens now which means that we have the EX ult, we're going to have maximum points, and we're going to do a literal butt-ton of damage on turn 3 to this poor Gazel before he can even put his defense and try and seal our attack and our... Well, I guess it would just be a crit, or attack, because we don't have crit or pierce on this team. Irrelevant. Awesome. Rimuru in for Veldora, and then, I mean, it's the same shit. <laughs> it's the same shit. I'm not even going to bother to use the um, back-to-back alt skill, because he's just going to die. He's literally just going to die here. Let's send Guy first, just for funsy-onesies. See how much damage he does. 76k, alright, not a big deal. 517. I think Gazel only had like 400k. Maybe less. Man, what... <sighs> We really need some harder stages, man. This is a joke now. I mean, it's been a joke this entire series, but still. Alright, the final stage. Again, thank God for Veldora and set starting hands and a game that is completely dominantly focused on green orbs. But, we're... N Actually, we don't even really care about bringing you two in, if anything, because he crit nerfs us, which is fine. But, we do have the bind that we're going to have to deal with on turn two. So that's going to be a deal breaker right there. Okay. We do have a space character here as well, and he'll do quite a bit of damage. So I think turn one will be okay. It's turn two that we're going to have problems. And he has quite a bit more health than normal. So how are we going to work this? Veldora's coming out. Okay, that's perfect, actually. He is the least necessary unit to stay in. So green buff. Boom. And then the hero comes in for Veldora. We'll steal those orbs, thank you very much. And then we'll bring Milam in. And your bind and poison means nothing if I'm going to do 500,000 damage to you next turn. So let's go ahead and alt rush. Boom. Convert all these to greens that are buffed by Veldora. We're going to get the EX alt. We're going to get, also we'll have, you know, Guy's alt next turn as well. 130 points coming in. Doing pretty good damage here. And I think that puts him underneath that, what, 500k damage that we've been doing consistently. Alright, so yeah, there's the Bind and Poison. But we have both of our primary supports up front now. And I think we're good. I think we're good. This time we'll actually use the backup ult. 
just in case. I really don't think we're going to need it. How much health does Flamin have right now? Uh, 590. Okay. Um, taking into account the guy alt and the follow-up orbs, he's not going to live. He's he's not going to live. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Guy, 53k. Yeah, less. 567. Oh, we pierced. We hit that natural pierce, and we were able to kill. Alright, well, yeah. Your bind and poison means absolutely nothing. So, there we go. That is Tempered Edge Part 2. Or technically part three of the world tour, because we, we had the conquest video before this, but that also was not very difficult. The next video might actually be difficult, though. We might need to do a few wonky things, but we haven't tried it yet. But so let me know what you guys think of this video and these tempered edge stages being an absolute joke and why we need more difficult content in the game. But that's it for me. Take it easy, guys, and I'll see you all later.